Our evening planner shows temperatures will be climbing to 45 degrees by 11 p.m. Showers will be persistent. A few rumbles of thunder certainly possible. And then winds are primarily going to be coming from the southeast. Latest models show that the best chance for any severe weather is actually going to be a little bit later into our overnight hours. Now, when it comes to the overall severe weather outlook, luckily we are well away from any severe weather greater potential. In fact, there's even a risk for some thunderstorms, many of which could produce some tornadoes north of Memphis. But luckily here in West Michigan, we only fall under a marginal risk for severe weather. Many of you might be thinking it is December. What are the odds? We don't typically see this, and that is very much the case. We don't typically see a marginal risk for severe weather in December. The last time that we saw a marginal risk in December was 2015. So we are seeing something that doesn't typically happen, but still the parameters are there. The ingredients are there to see some stronger storms for tonight. Thunderstorms will be moving through the area as we continue overnight. A look by midnight shows the best chance for a few of those thunderstorms to develop. So don't be surprised if you are waking up to rumbles of thunder. The isolated rain showers will transition over to snow after 11 a.m. on Saturday, the winds are also going to be the strongest throughout the day on Saturday. Sustained winds between 20 to 30 miles per hour. Wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour, the strongest right along the lakeshore. So what you need to take away from those numbers is if you have a trash can out at the end of the road, if you have any Christmas decorations out, bring those in. We have a wind advisory that's going to continue from midnight tonight until 7 p.m. on Saturday because that's where we'll have our strongest winds. Now our super seven day planner showed temperature Temperatures reaching 52 degrees on Saturday. That's actually going to be in the early morning hours, dropping to 29 degrees throughout the later evening hours and overnight on Saturday. Taking a closer look with our super seven day planner, when it comes to the overall amount of rainfall, we're not expecting a whole lot of rain, but some locations could actually receive an inch of accumulation that's closer towards the lakeshore. Holland is expected to receive 1.25 inches of rainfall by Saturday morning. The good news is once we get past Saturday, Saturday, wonderful weather will be settling in for Sunday and Monday. Mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the 40s. It gets even warmer for Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures will be nearing 60 degrees. 59 on Thursday with a chance for a few scattered showers.